What's up everybody? So in this video I want to go over water. I want to go over locating and collecting, filter and purifying, and containing water. Because water is vital, it's essential to all life so it's important that you get this down. Now in trying to understand water you want to know that it always tries to find lower ground from higher ground and from higher ground it starts with rain or glaciers. Now there's two ways to find water, either by surface water or by groundwater. Surface water meaning rivers, lakes or mirror, streams, reservoirs, uh, sea or an ocean, lagoons, gulfs, bays, if you have wetlands in the area it could be marshes or swamps. As for groundwater, there's aquifers, watersheds, and springs. Now, when collecting water, it's preferred if you have a metal canteen or a metal thermos. The reason why is because you can collect, purify, and contain water in it. If you don't have that, the next best thing is a pot or a pan because you can collect and purify water. Anything else, if you have a bowl, uh, if you have a cup or if you use a hat or a plastic water bottle or a plastic bag then you only have a container okay so you'll have to collect your water in that but contain your water in something else that hasn't been contaminated also when collecting your water you want to check for animal activity for feces or dead carcasses okay and before you collect it if you have a sweater or a small cloth or something put it over the hole before you collect it okay and when dipping your bottle if you have a water bottle if that's what you're using Put it just underneath the surface, just a little bit, just to avoid any debris or dead bugs or just put it underneath the current, just a little bit to fill up. Now, for water filtration, okay, there's naturally filtered water, there's self-filtered water, and there's commercially filtered water. Naturally filtered water is water you can find in trees or in vines or um, springs, it's dew in the morning, or directly from the rain, okay, that's naturally filtered water. Now, self-filtered water is when you make a device to filter your water. So if I had a water bottle, I would cut the bottom open and create layers of charcoal, some sand or gravel, uh, dirt and grass and moss, and just keep making different layers of that. And that would be a self-filtered device. Now, a commercially filtered device is something that you would buy from the store and bring with you outdoors and use that. Okay, but something like a Brita filter, so to speak, that you put on your tap, that's a commercial filter. Now, after filtering your water, what's left is to purify your water in these two ways. You can boil it or you can pasteurize it. Boiling is self-explanatory, you bring it to a boil and you want to boil it for about three or four minutes. Uh, not more than that is necessary. After any more than that is you're losing water from, from evaporation. Okay? Now, pasteurization is when you bring it to just underneath a boil, about 160 degrees. Okay? and you leave it at that temperature for about 45 minutes and that should kill all the water pathogens in, in the water. Now, as much as water can be your best friend, it can also be your worst enemy. The reason for that is because of the water pathogens in the water and because of commercial chemicals. There are four different kinds of water pathogens. There's viruses, there's protozoans, there's bacteria, and there's parasites. Bacteria are things such as shigellosis, uh, salmonellosis, uh, cholera, leptospirosis, and enteropathic eugenic E. coli. Okay? Now, for protozoans, those come from dead carcasses or feces in the water, and things that you can catch from them are Cryptosporidium and Giardia. Now, in terms of viruses, there's things like Hepatitis A, polio virus, and viral gastroenteritis. Okay? And parasites are self-explanatory. Now, as for chemicals, there's pesticides, there's herbicides, and there's industrial waste of all different types. Last but not least is containing your water. Now if you have a metal canteen or a metal thermos or a pot in a pan, then you can contain your water in the same device that you purify it in. Now with a pot or a pan you may not be able to carry it with you to your next camp. Okay, But if you're using anything else like a plastic bag or a plastic water bottle or a cup or a bowl or, or even a like a small gallon hat, okay, and you use that to collect the water, unless you sterilized it in the purifying process, you cannot use the device that you collected your water in to contain your water in. Because once you've collected it, say, from dirty water and you've purified it in something else, you can't put your clean water in the device that you had your dirty water in. You understand? So that's key to remember. Now, what I'm going to do next is take you through a little bit of what we just went over.
good source for water. A great source. This is what I'm going to do. Pop over. Now I want to place it just a few inches underneath the surface. Let it fill. Okay, so we've got a full bottle of water that's been filtered from a relatively clean water source. So what I would want to do with this next is to boil it. Okay, now this is a draw or a wash, which um, means there's not water here consistently. This only fills up when there's heavy rainfall or seasonally. Okay. Now, it seems like water only fills up here temporarily, okay, uh, which makes it a draw or a wash. It, it fills only when there's heavy rain or seasonally, okay, which makes this uh, not as bad as, as a pond or a water hole, but uh, relatively just, just as close. Because I don't know what animals are running up in here trying to grab a drink and, and might piss and shit in the water. So, I would want to self-filter this. And how this works is grass, dirt, charcoal, grass, dirt, moss, moss at the top, okay? And the purpose of this is to try to purify the water before the boiling or pasteurizing process, okay? This is a great filter. It can, it can half purify it, okay? I'm going to show you how it works. Now, this is the bottle I want the water to go into. And this is the water I'm going to filter the water first. Okay, so I'm going to take the bottom off. You see it fits. Now I don't want to collect the water with this because I'm going to contain it in this. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my hand to collect the water and drop it in this side. Okay. It's already started to work. So this is how this works, guys. It's a, it's a self-filtering system. And you can see it filtering one drop at a time. And this makes the water safer to drink. Now, I would still pasteurize or boil this, this water after this. This is just the filtering process. You can either use a cloth, you can use a self filtering device just like this or a naturally filtered device or commercially filtered device one drop at a time and that's how the, the filter works grass dirt charcoal grass dirt moss Okay, now this water looks clear, okay, but better safe than sorry. Okay, I would still filter this water when collecting it and wouldn't drink straight from it. I would still want to boil or pasteurize the water in order to, to purify it. Because remember the water pathogens there's bacteria, there's protozoans, there's viruses, and there's parasites. So, as much as water can be my friend, it can also be my worst enemy. So I'm going to go through collecting it, okay? Once again, I'm going to place the cloth over the entry hole. Just like that. I can place the water. And I'm going to place the bottle in the water and let it fill up. So as I'm letting this water fill up, remember, bacteria, the shigellosis, salmonellosis, leptospirosis, cholera and enteropathogenic, enteropathogenic E. coli. Okay. Now in terms of protozoans, there is Cryptosporidium, Giardia, and viruses, Hepatitis A and poliovirus.
Alright. Looks pretty good. So, that's it guys. That's all I want to go over today. Okay, we went over putting a cloth, fiber cloth, over top the entrance hole of your water bottle and dipping your water bottle into your water source. Okay. And we also went over making a filter device. Okay. So a cylindric type shape object and you want to fill it with grass, dirt, charcoal, grass, dirt, moss. Okay. We went over that as well. The only thing left is to boil your water if you have a pot or a pan. Okay. Which is very simple. We all know how to do that. And pasteurizing. So pasteurizing is if you do not have this and you only have a water bottle or you have a burnt out bowl made from a log. Okay, that's, that's a primitive skill device. And uh, I'll save that for another day. Okay, so that's it. That's all we have to go over water today, guys. That's how to locate and collect. That's how to filter and purify and how to contain your water.